Well, regardless of where you're watching this in the world, folks, you likely heard of a rather important event that happened last night here in the U.S. where I am. Uh, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris had their first debate to preempt the November election coming up two months from now. Obviously, the U.S. is having a dramatic impact, as it really has over the past two to four years, depending on how far back you want to go, on the crypto markets. And this debate was certainly one that had some expected fireworks and did not disappoint. You can see quite clearly here on our social volume graph, blue representing Kamala Harris, red representing Donald Trump and the amount of social mentions related to each candidate. And the debate as it went on clearly saw a signal of a downside and concern among traders. And this was actually going on for world markets as well, even though the U.S. stock markets were closed at the time. Of course, during the evenings, uh, the U.S. stock markets are not open, but from 6.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time, where I live in California, uh, there are a lot of reactions that can happen. So basically, the reaction was baked in to what happened the next day, where there was an initial downside uh, pressure coming in from prices. You can see here, this is how markets opened. This was the most dramatic drop we had seen since just a few days ago on September 6th, the end of last week. And all of a sudden, we see a huge reversal. And the question is why? Well, there was a very positive CPI report that came out. You can see they come out once per month, right around the middle of the month during the second week. And when this came out, there was a dramatic rise in markets, uh, arguably a little bit of a delayed effect. I think people were still kind of looking at what was going on with the presidential debate and the concerning topics that were going on there. And of course, we're not a political channel. I want to say this. We saw more downside pressure as Trump was facing pressure or when some people didn't like what he had to say, especially in crypto. Uh, crypto is, at least for the majority of people, uh, seeming to favor Trump due to his more pro-crypto promises that he, was, he is uh, stating during his speeches, whether it's strategic or he really means them. That's up for you to decide. We're not a political channel. I want to reiterate, and uh, we don't give our opinions, not that they would matter anyways. You should be looking at the opinions of the wide crypto audience and how they react to each candidate. So with all of this said, we get this big rebound uh, from a very positive CPI report. And I want to read you a few of the uh, topics of both key subjects that have obviously been very America-centric, but are impacting the overall crypto markets dramatically. And you can expect that that's going to continue. So for starters, I pulled up some of the key issues that were talked about during the debate, economic issues right at the beginning. Uh, we have a possible market impact that our AI tool gave me in terms of what the uh, likely reaction was and how that impacted markets. So this was concerns about inflation and policies, of course, right before the CPI report came out, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, Harris hit Trump hard on abortion, recounting a story of a woman denied care due to restrictive laws. I, I don't think the abortion talk really has much impact, at least on the crypto markets. Uh, perhaps you disagree, and that's quite okay. Uh, they talked about immigration as well. Uh, p immigration policies, particularly in industries reliant on labor like agriculture and construction, could have sparked concerns in certain sectors. They also talked about foreign policy and national security. They also talked about, of course, the January 6th Capitol riot, which is a very hot topic here in the U.S. Uh, and this part, this was the part that got most viral, where Trump used an opportunity where Kamala was interjecting during one of his points, and he said, I'm talking now, does that sound familiar? Of course, referring back to a time when uh, Kamala Harris said, I'm talking now to him. So that was the thing that went most viral. Uh, and I think a lot of pro-Trumpers actually liked this part. So my point is, there's going to be two other debates coming up, and you can look for these kinds of subjects as key cogs that can, at least for a very short term, 
dramatically impact the prices of cryptocurrency if you're, you know, really on top of the ball here, or if it's a really big moment for Trump or a big moment for Harris, uh, positive or negative, that can be something that will dramatically shift markets as well. Now, moving down here, the August 2024 CPI report showed a 0.2% increase in inflation and a year-over-year -year inflation rate of 2.5%. This is seen as neutral to sl slightly bullish, hence the positive reaction that we're getting as of the time of this recording, uh, about 1 p.m. Pacific time, right as stock markets are closing. Um, so the CPI, CPI was in line with expectations. Annual inflation rate is at its lowest since February 2021. So we're talking about a three and a half year low, which is obviously a good thing. We want to see inflation be tempered. And of course, February 2021 was arguably right when we were in smack dab the most fearful time for COVID. And inflation was uh, very low because the uh, Fed was doing everything it could to keep inflation low during that uh, very concerning and scary time, not just in the US, but around the world. Uh, core inflation slightly higher than expected. Excluding food and energy, it rose 0.3% above the expected 0.2%. So you can see it's not all good and, and happy. But what is good is the Fed's likely 25 basis point rate cut is already priced in with an 85% expected chance of a cut to happen at the next Fed meeting. Um, so unless there's a shock and we get that 15% chance of no cut, I would imagine that this would continue to be good for both stock markets and crypto. So keep all this in mind. Wanted to bring up those highlights. Uh, thank you to AI. It is an amazing tool that really helps summarize these things. Um, and then I can just quickly organize to make videos like these. A um, few other points. On the sentiment side, you can see we've actually been in the negative range for the last couple of weeks, at least for some altcoins, particularly altcoin, uh, you might have been seeing Vitalik in the news a little bit, rumored to have been so selling a lot of coins. So he's kind of public enemy number one among a lot of altcoiners out there, even though I have seen that the Ethereum community in particular is still staying very loyal and saying it's not as big of a deal as people are making it. Uh, Cardano actually getting very positive sentiment right now due to a development on their blockchain that was really recently released. And of course, Bitcoin, most importantly, is sitting right here smack dab in neutral territory. So if I hide everything else to make it a little easier to see, you can see quite clearly very positive sentiment back here in late July. And as is the usual, when traders get too positive, we see a big drop. Um, and even then, we got a quick rebound that got traders' hopes up once again. Then we get another sustained drop here, and now we're back in negative to slightly neutral range. So it can go either we either way right now, but uh, I recommend just keeping an eye on this, especially if markets uh, slightly or even um, fairly aggressively rise over the next week, which could be very likely based on these uh, pieces of news, particularly the CPI report. Um, I think it could very well push markets up at least a little bit. And then we have to wait and see if the positive sentiment quickly returns here, uh, which would mean that a local top is forming once again. So just looking a little bit ahead to the future. Hope this was helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll talk to you next time.